Good morning. Welcome to day four of the 90 day challenge where I'm going to attempt to recruit 50 volunteers in the next 90 days. And uh, my name is Kenny Conley. I'm a next gen pastor in Blue Ridge, Georgia, and I'm excited to be on this journey. I'm getting close to wrapping up my first full week uh, of this volunteer recruiting journey. And so far we've talked about clarifying the need, which I have done that. I've clarified specifically about how many volunteers I need. Um, and then yesterday we talked about uh, setting aside the time to recruit. I'm sitting inside an hour and a half every day, about six hours a week to work on recruiting volunteers. And um, yesterday, uh, like yesterday evening, I actually had a meeting with two of my volunteers, a husband and a wife. And um, they are amazing volunteers who serve every other week in my preteen area. And I had an idea in the back of my head that I wanted to move them to a different service uh, to partner them with two other volunteers who serve every week and encourage them to serve every week. And they said, yes, actually a resounding yes. They're excited. They're actually had already been thinking about it. And, uh, but the cool part is that they have a high school son who um, is more than likely going to say yes to volunteering. They have a fifth grader who just promoted in sixth grade, and he's very excited to start serving. And uh, which we're gonna talk about this soon, about th the efforts that I'm making for my new sixth graders, uh, about inviting them into the ministry. Uh, they also have a fourth grade daughter. She just moved from third grade to fourth grade. And I haven't launched a junior leader program here yet, but I have at other churches. And because they're gonna be here for two services, um, we're probably gonna plug her in as well. So. Uh, that will be moving both of them from every other week volunteers to weekly volunteers. So that's a 0.5 for each of them, making uh, that a one, you know, a total of one uh, volunteer increase, net increase, plus um, their high schooler and their sixth grader, which that's uh, two more, and then potentially their fourth grader. So um, great first week, you know, great. I'm so excited and I, I love this family. So I'm so excited about uh, them stepping into this. Uh, that's one of the advantages I have right now in this recruiting push. I'll look at this next week, but I don't have nearly as many middle school and high school volunteers as I would like to have. And that's actually a big part of the strategy of leveraging more of your student ministry to get those people plugged in. So that's a little update from uh, from yesterday. And then what I'm working on today, what I'm working on this morning is um, <clears throat> actually creating the space and time to uh, of what I'm inviting people to. Uh, I like to call it a volunteer orientation. We'll talk a lot more about this. I wrote a course with Ministry Boost called The Volunteer Pipeline. It is my is my favorite thing. And it's, uh, I call it a volunteer orientation. I've been running them for almost 10 years. And it's where I bring people to introduce to them the idea of serving. And they always say yes at my volunteer orientation. So today I'm getting that set up. I'm uh, getting that set up to hopefully having my first volunteer orientation a week from this Sunday and doing volunteer orientations every other week. Just set, set it in stone. I think the second and fourth Sundays, I think is what I'm, what I'm looking at. And so today I'm working on getting that up and online and posted on our website so people can easily, so as people uh, express interest or as I'm reaching out to people, they, um, I can, um, I have something to invite them to. Instead of having a whole bunch of individual conversations with all these people, I'm inviting them to an every other week, essentially an every other week volunteer orientation that we host during our middle service on Sunday mornings. So I'm working on that this morning. And also I had another, another lead come in through our website. Uh, she, this person filled out a form last week that she's interested in serving either in kids or in student ministry. I reached out and we have a phone call set up for Friday. So again, another lead working that lead. So that's what I'm working on today. Uh, I'll check in again tomorrow and give you an update on some things. So um, what are you working on today to recruit more volunteers?